Hi, I'm Raven. I am a student assistant here in Housing and Residential Education. So as an incoming freshman, you might be wondering where exactly you're going to be placed this upcoming year. Well, you're going to be living in Santa Rosa Village. Currently, we're standing in the Santa Rosa Village office, and in the Santa Rosa Village office, you can get multiple of things. Letters from your mailboxes, fun games, and packages from home at the front desk. So let's go check out some more fun things in Santa Rosa Village. Currently, we're standing in the Santa Rosa Village Courtyard. The courtyard splits the two buildings in Santa Rosa, L Building and K Building, and each building has four floors. Here in Santa Rosa, each floor has two pods, and your room key will get you into your assigned pod. Currently, we're standing in a Santa Rosa pod. Pod is just another name for hallway, but here at Channel Islands, we're a pod of dolphins. Each pod carries about 40 to 50 residents, and within their pods, they have a male bathroom, a female bathroom, a gender neutral bathroom, an assigned study room, and a family room. But first, let's go check out a family room. Currently, we're standing in one of the 15 family rooms here in Santa Rosa. In the family rooms, it's split into two functions. The first being the lounge section, and the second being the kitchen section. In the kitchen section, there's a fridge, a microwave, a Keurig, a sink, and a toaster. So you'd want to bring your own dishes. Next up, study room. So this is a Santa Rosa study room. There are seven study rooms within Santa Rosa, and each pod is designated to one of those study rooms. Within the study room, there's a table, a whiteboard, computer, and a printer for free printing access. Just bring your own paper. Next stop, let's go see a room. Here in Santa Rosa, most bedrooms are double occupancy, meaning two residents per room. Some triple occupancy, which are three residents per room, and a handful of single bedrooms, which are mainly reserved for disability accommodations. Some residents gave us a chance to go check their rooms out. Let's go look at them. Hi, <laughs> welcome to a Santa Rosa dual occupancy room. So as you can see everything in our room, each person gets two beds, which are adjustable in height. So for instance, I'm 6'1", my roommate's 5'4", so you can see the difference so that he doesn't have to jump. We have two desks, each person gets a desk, a really nice rocking chair, and the desk you can put all your stuff, it holds a ton of stuff, and there's this pull-out drawer that holds all my junk that's completely unorganized. Welcome to college. And up here, I have my game console, my lamp, speaker, boxes, pencil sharpener, there's just a ton of space. You never run out of places to put things. Underneath, too, there's lots of foot space. I have my printer down there. And in addition, every room comes with a mini fridge, which actually looks a lot spacier than it is. We don't have a lot of stuff in there right now, but it keeps things nice and cold. Up here, every room has a closet that actually holds a lot of things, and there's a compartment up top where we like to keep all our towels and tissues and toiletries and things like that. Under it, we like to keep our hampers, our fans, our drawers for everything else. Every room also comes with, under your bed, drawers for your clothes. They come out like this, and three of them all hold whatever you want to put in them. Each room side gets those, and a nightstand that you get to put all your things on. Comes with two drawers. One is quite big, and you get to hold a lot of stuff in there. And both of them have locks on them, too, so that if you're a little bit protective, then you have total security. And yeah, that's the tour of our room. Hello! Welcome to our triple! You know, this is my space. I got my pictures, my paw figures, uh, everything that makes me feel at home. And you know, we got the bed, got the pictures of the fam, you know, make me feel at home. Hi, I'm Shelby. So what I chose to bring in housing was, of course, you know, my binders for school and everything. And then also I brought my computer and my stuff for school because I'm, you know, going into the medical field. And then up here, 
I brought my posters, my Rick and Morty poster and my Kingdom Hearts poster because they make me feel more at home. And what you notice here about my bed is it's a loft. So there's like no bed underneath it. It feels like you have a little bit more space. You know, your desk is over here and you have your drawers right here. And you know, it's just really cool. Hello, my name is Veronica and this is my space. So what I brought were pictures of my mom, my sister, I have pictures of my friends. I brought all the hats that I have. And this is our closet with all our clothes. And we brought extra drawers for all the extra stuff that we have with our shoes. Well, it's been, been it's real. Been real. It's been real, yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Inside the pod, there are three restrooms. A male restroom, a female restroom, and an all-gender restroom. Let's go take a look inside of it. So this is an all-gender restroom. Inside the all-gender restroom, there's a private toilet, sink, and shower. So that's the all-gender restroom. Let's go take a look at the female restroom. Inside the female and male restrooms, there are several toilets and sinks. Along with the toilets and sinks, there are three showers. One over here with a curtain for changing and a curtain for showering. And then an ADA shower over here. And those are the restrooms in Santa. So this is the Santa Rosa Community Kitchen. Inside the community kitchen, you can cook a meal or attend one of the many events here, like RHA's Thanksgiving dinner and pie day. Along with Santa Rosa Community Kitchen, there's also Santa Rosa Community Living Room, which is right through these doors. Inside the living room, there's several TVs and plenty of space for you and your friends to hang out. And right above these stairs is a ping pong table and a pool table for your enjoyment. Well, that concludes this video. If you want to see more information on Santa Rosa, click the virtual tour link in the description below and hop over to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. We'll see you around next time.